Hi everyone, welcome to day three of the Coach Sneak Peek and we're on the topic of how to grow your net network on social media and how is that done necessarily and um, what is our plan as a team to help you if you are not computer savvy or if you're just kind of even just computer shy, social media shy. So there are a few things, and I'm going to keep looking at my notes because I want to make sure that I cover them. But the biggest thing that we teach you on our team and a lot of teams um, across uh, Team Beachbody is being consistent. So what does being consistent mean on social media? That would mean posting consistently every day, not about Beachbody products about you and your journey. Does that mean that it has to continuously be about beach body or fitness and health? No. Um, being consistent with just you and being consistent with your life and being consistent with where you are just on your journey from where you were and where you're going. Normally that does not consist of just health and fitness goals. <laughs> so um, you normally are gonna be posting about your life I always encourage um, my coaches that are building um, to be consistently posting two or three times a day. And a lot of times you will find that you have some peak hours. And according to the people that you are attracting, you'll get a feel um, for when they are on social media and what platforms they're on. So in other words, platforms means Facebook. Are they on Facebook? Are a lot of your followers on Pinterest and not on Facebook? Are some of them on Instagram more than they are on Facebook? And a lot of times that, that changes. So being a part of a team, we're able to give each other information or share with each other information. If some of our other coaches are more familiar with the platforms, they'll fill everyone in and say, hey, you know, things are changing over here on Pinterest. Um, and if you're interested in learning about that platform, I have um, a, a way to help you or over here on Instagram or Twitter um, or obviously Facebook. So um, there are all sorts of uh, different social media platforms. Periscope now is a big one that, that is out or even the live channels that are on Facebook. That's not Periscope. So uh, it's always interesting and you're kind of on the cutting edge um, and you start learning about things that you probably never would have um, if you weren't on it all the time and looking for new platforms um, to share your message. So being consistent is the first thing that we're going to talk about. And according to whatever level you're interested in as far as coaching, that's going to be, you're going to be coached differently. Um, to be able to reach your goals. If, you're, if your goal is to get a discount, well then there's not going to be any social media training uh, for that that you need. It's going to be completely your discount. If you are interested in learning how to share your journey, either health and fitness, or just how to be more positive influence on social media, you'll get that even if you say, that the commitment that you can give our team is you'll be a coach for your program, for the um, duration of your program. A lot of times people use that as a, a turning point um, in social media to kind of introduce themselves again to their family and friends because some people are coming through depression, some people are coming through uh, a marital status change, um, some people are moving through a difficult time and they join a health and fitness journey to help them with those aspects. And so it's a wonderful thing to kind of learn how to, to change, to turn over a new leaf. And so you'll get that when you, when you commit to um, signing on with us as a coach and your commitment is for your program. You'll still get that training, which is wonderful. Um, because it's nice to give your life an upswing. <laughs> a lot of times people are so negative on social media, you'll learn um, by signing on as a coach and commit it to your program how to take those really horrible days and always leave it on an upswing. And that's from um, Shalene Johnson. She is amazing and you may have done one of her programs. Um, one of the best things that she does 
is she coaches you how to have a positive impact on social media. So um, that's one thing that you'll learn. You'll learn how to be consistent. You'll learn how to be positive. You'll learn how to turn over a new leaf um, by, by being a coach. The next thing is if you do uh, sign on for the, the mentorship uh, program, which is a three-month uh, commitment, and that's a three-month commitment to yourself because uh, you don't sign anything for that. But for those three months, you get our our one-on-one um, -on -one training. You are put into our challenge groups. You are you're taught how to run those well. Um, during that type of uh, mentorship and that type of commitment, you will learn how to find out who your tribe is. And what I mean by tribe is not everyone on um, Team Heroes Unite and not everyone in Team Beachbody has the same followers and you'll find that out um, which is exciting you'll find that out during your health and fitness journey and during the coaching and you start to develop oh okay this is when I post my tribe is on either at 6 p.m. or they're on at 9 p.m. and that is normally when they're on and or they're on super early in the morning or they're on at 9 a.m. Uh, rarely do they come on really during the day because a lot of my tribe are moms and the busiest parts of the day they can't be on social media but right when before their little their little tribe gets up there on social media when they've just dropped off the kids to school or their children are eating breakfast they're on social media so you start seeing where your tribe is and that's when you learn where to post and that's also um, what we're going to teach you on what to post because um, you want to know what people need and what people want to hear from you and some some stages of life um, they want to hear your struggles and they want to see you and they really want to they want you to be vulnerable with them there are other stages of life and other tribes that they really need a lot of upswings and um, because they're going through a, a much more difficult stage of life than maybe the super positive, excited, just hot mess mama, you know. So um, you just kind of figure it out. You figure it out and we are here to help you figure that out because it's taken me really two years, probably a year and a half, um, to really find out my tribe and that's been exciting for me and it's been a journey for me and uh, and so we kind of cut that down and we teach you how to zone in a lot quicker and within those three months you're able to start branding yourself which that's what that means um, finding out who your tribe is learning what that looks like through your words through videos if you ever want to do something like that um, through the the pictures that you find um, the books that you read, things like that. So according to the commitment level that you would like to be on our team, that's kind of where we take you down how to build your social media presence. Um, again, the next thing is just being yourself, and that's going to be a huge key to building your tribe. If you don't know who you are at this point um, in life, that's what coaching does and that is what coming on the team does and that's what being involved in a mentorship does and it, you have to start finding out really who you are and what your needs are because that is who's going to be attracted to you and um, we give you really good questions to ask yourself time to ask advanter back and forth and um, and we help out with that so you're not going to be lost in that particular area um, we also, the next point is sharing your content. Uh, we definitely am not, we're not fans of getting on and being like, here's all of our, here's all of our struggles all the day, you know, and having like those really long posts every single day. No, what we do is, and it's a continual process. We look at what your story is. We look at your journey and we try to take you through that. Those, those things piece by piece and teach you how to share your story 
not every single part of your story needs to be shared every single day and not every single post needs to have the very very beginning and where you currently are um, so we teach you how to do that we teach you how to how to become comfortable with that and again we teach you how to do that on Instagram or Pinterest or here on Facebook or Twitter or Periscope or the live um, particular uh, part of Facebook that's that's becoming like Periscope now all these different things YouTube I mean you might be I, we have one coach on here that I know is really good at YouTube and so um, again she's comfortable with that platform a lot of people like to see YouTubes because that gives you that connection to the people that are on your team it brings you into their house I mean look I've got like artwork and I have like kid stuff <laughs> and I can't get away from it I don't have an office so my whole house is my office <laughs> and that's just that's where I am at this point in my journey and I'm okay with that uh, that's that's my life and I and I love it so um, learning how to share your content learning how to share your story learning what your story is sometimes you're so right here and right now that people only you only think that this is your story when in fact you can look back over your whole life and and we teach you how to look at all of the parts of your story and how to start embracing that and um, how to bring that along on social media and again giving all of those parts of your life an upswing um, people need upswings uh, and uh, it's nice to be a part of a team that is positive and wants to have a positive influence on the world around them and one of the parts of our world in today's society is social media so this really teaches you how to really have a true impact um, and through all of that we teach you how to grow your following you can always do a like page uh, for when you open up your business and we teach you how to do that how to do that well because through a like page you are able to boost your posts and you're able to get on different news feeds and more of your tribe will be able to see it um, there are a lot of people that do not start with their friends and family I was very selective on my friends and family that I invited along um, I was very careful because I was only going to ask people that I knew were only into fitness <laughs> I didn't want to offend anybody I didn't want people to think that it was about them that I was reaching out to them that I became a coach because they needed to get in shape like you know you have all those mind games going on with friends and family so a lot of people find it easier to reach to people that are about what they consider an arm's length which is like not necessarily your friend but it was like a friend of that person so um, it doesn't matter however you start is how you start and that's where you're supposed to start so uh, we teach you how to take that how to grow that how to build that and how to do that through invitations lots of personal invitations and it's not an invitation to buy a product and we teach you how to make sure that it's not because genuinely you want to find out you want to build that relationship you want to find out what their goals are in life if health and fitness is even a part of that journey for them and then from that you're gonna find out um, well do we even have a product that would help them with that and, and sometimes they're going to ask you and sometimes you're going to be bold and you're going to ask them and um, bold for you might not be anything to them they may be like yeah well I was going to ask you but like you weren't offering <laughs> so, sometimes you have those people that are kind of waiting for you uh, they don't want to um, put you in an awkward spot which I think is interesting how all the mind games work but we teach you how to go through how to invite and also how to follow up we give you lots of suggestions because there's not just one way um, to follow up with people it's all about building relationships it's all about being genuine it is not about selling you do not want a person to buy a product from you take it from you not be coached by you um, and put it on a shelf and never go back to it you don't want a person like that uh, you you want to be the person that really listens to what their goals are you want to search for a product that we have and if we don't have one you want to be that coach that says look 
I want to come alongside you and right now what you need to do is you need to do X, Y, and Z. We're going to get you started this way. These other things over here can wait. This is what we need to get you doing first because that's what a coach does. A coach is a go-giver. You want to give what you can to the people where they're at to get them to the next point. And then you're going to take them from there. You're going to come alongside them and you're going to get them to the next point because that's what a coach does. Um, we don't drag people. <laughs> we don't stuff products down their faces. We don't hook somebody up with Insanity Max 30 that really should be walking. <laughs> like they should be walking at first because they're not moving at all. Um, we make sure that um, what we're asking them to do is going to be something that is paired with their goals that is paired with their journey currently and also if they need it I mean always always they should be checking with their doctor that should always be a part of the process um, because you want people to be able to take your products to be able to use them and for it to actually get them to the next step so that is what we do as a coach and we build that on social media we do that by letting people know parts of our story we always have an upswing. We try to teach you how to use different platforms and what feels best for you. And in your time frame, every platform kind of takes different time commitments. And um, that's how we do it on social media. I will have like specific points um, in the comments section. But rest assured that if you commit whatever level of commitment that you decide um, to this team, we will make sure that we give you the training, we point you to the training um, that's going to give you what you need to start to learn your social media platforms that you feel most comfortable with. And there is not one that is the best. The best is the one that's going to fit you and it's going to fit your personality. And, and again, it's such a large topic and we go through this in training. But the, the most important thing is on social media, be consistent. You want to have a consistent message. You want to post consistently. You don't want to be like this crazy, you know, erratic person one day and then like super happy, nice the next day. Like you want to be consistent. People need to see that you can be consistent because they cannot be consistent. A coach has to be consistent. And that is the hardest thing. That's the hardest thing to show on social media, and it's just the hardest thing in general to be. So that's the nice thing about being a coach. You get to work on that every single day, and uh, it's wonderful. It is wonderful, and you do get to connect to a wonderful, fit family who keeps you consistent and keeps you accountable and um, keeps you positive on social media as well as in your personal life. So thank you again, day three, again, social media, making sure that you know that um, we will help you build that network on social media. And you can start with zero knowledge because <laughs> there's enough of us on this team and there are enough places that we can help you point you towards that will get you started in the right direction. Have a great day.